हेलो गाइस टुडे आई डिस्कस सम करंट अफेयर्स टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू दिस वीक ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज अ वर्ल्ड प्रेस फ्रीडम इंडेक्स ओके सो द इंडियाज रैंकिंग इन द रिसेंट रिलीज 2023 वर्ल्ड प्रेस फ्रीडम इंडेक्स दैट स्लिप्ड टू 161 out of 180 countries okay in 2022 the india's rank was 150 but this year the india's rank is 161 okay and that report is released by the reporter sense frontier okay basically this is a non profit organization that headquarter lies in paris that is france so the first uh, that is the what does the index highlight okay so what is the highlight of this index okay let's first understand so basically the key highlight is the degree of freedoms that journalist or the news organizations or netizens have in each countries okay and the government support as well so basically the degree of freedom okay so first is the degree of freedom okay how much they have free to express okay by the journalist so that index basically this key highlight of this report and how is the ranking done basically the ranking is done ranking from 0 to 100 okay so 0 is a very odd point means very bad point and 100 is the best possible score okay so uh, and what are the parameters so if we're talking about uh, what are the parameter of the evaluation of this report so first is the political context and the legal frameworks okay and economic context socio cultural context and the safety so basically this five parameters so on the basis of this five parameters this press index can evaluate their ranking okay evaluate their ranking so let's what are the what, what is the highlight of this report highlight of this report as we know uh, that india's ranking is 161 out of 180 countries india got 161 country out 161 rank out of 180 country okay so basically the press freedom in india has gone from a problematic to a very bad so you can say that so this ranking is very bad okay so and uh, if you know that is the bhutan ranking is 90 nepal is 95 sri lanka is 135 so you we can say that all other neighbors had the better rank than india but india's the position 169 in the political indicators if you talk individually like the political indicators so in political indicators the india's rank is 169 okay and 172 in the safety generalist if we talk about the safety measure of the generalist that is 172 india got rank 172 out of 180 on what measure that is the safety of generalist okay and about uh, about the ngos basically uh, uh, as i have talked about the this report is released by one of the ngo that is Uh, that is a report sense frontier or it called the reporters without borders okay Re- reporters without borders about the reporters without borders so this is the own organization it is a organization okay that is one of the ngo and this ngo release this press freedom index okay so let's talk about some Uh, some line of this ngos so it is an international ngos whose self aim is to defend and promote the media's freedom so what are the main objective why this ngo release the report basically the main aim to promote the media's freedom and this headquarter lies in paris okay so it has consecutively status with the united nation as well so basically this ngos uh, define as the press freedom okay so this report basically defined as a press freedom press freedom so how the press freedom is done means what is the meaning of this press freedom so he defined the press freedom as the ability of generalist as individual and collective to select produce and disseminate news in the public interest independent of the political economic and legal social interferences and in the absence of threat to their physical and the mental safety so there is a no threat on media's persons and is a legal support by the government and th- there is a independent of the political economic relationship so on that basis this uh, on this parameter this uh, 
NGOs basically rank on them. Okay, so let's go to the second topic, that is the defense minister visit Maldives. So this is a very recent news, that is the defense minister of India, that's visit in Maldives. Okay, so let's start. So Raksha Mantri Sri Rajna Singh paid a three-day official visit to Maldives. So as a special gesture, you know that the the Defence Minister of Maldives that say broke protocol and personally received the Raksha Mantri upon arrival at the airport. Okay, so let's what is the key highlight of this reports? What is the key highlight of this report? So basically, uh, the highlight of this report is the launch construction of a harbour for the Coast Guard and the Maldives National Defence Force. Means the foundation step. Of, oh, for the Coast Guard, like Ekta Harbour was laid by the Defence Minister and his Maldivian counterpart. So the foundation stone was laid at uh, Utharu, Miss UTF at all, where India is assisting, is constructing of a naval dockyard. So basically, uh, the main agenda or the main key highlight of the visit is a construction of harbour, construction of harbour, Coast Guard. Okay that is the coast guard of the Maldives mm. National Defence Force MD, MNDF okay so to build up or to construction of a coast guard of the MNDF forces of the Maldives okay and uh, and the f um, this is the first highlight and second highlight is the hand over a past patrol vessel when uh, the Rajna Singh visited in Maldives, in Mo Maldives, in Rajna Singh is India's India handover a past patrol vessel and landing aircraft assault ship to the MDF forces of Maldives. Okay, so the two that is first is the fast patrol, fast patrol vessel, vessel, and second is the landing craft assault. Okay, so these two things. Okay that is related to India. So, uh, this hand over to M MNDF forces. Okay. So, these two things that is the fast patrol vessel and the landing craft assault that is hand over to MNDF fo forces. Okay. The second highlight. Let us go to the third highlight is that third highlight is that so India's strong defense cooperation with Maldives, as we all know, that that is uh, the India uh, Indian Defense Minister asserted that ties emanate from the twin policy of neighborhood first and Saigur. So basically, the two policy of India that is the neighborhood first, okay, that is the neighborhood neighborhood first policy, and second is the Sagar. Okay, that is security and growth for all in the region. So, that two policies are also helped in this bilateral relations over this visit. Okay, so why the India interest in Maldives? Okay, so what is the reason to interest in Maldives? So, first is the strategic importance. Okay, so first is the strategic strategic important strategic important means Maldives is barely a 70 nautical miles away from the mini and 30 nautical miles away from the India's west coast and it is situated at the hub of a commercial sea lens running through the Indian Ocean particularly in 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 this channel it means that we know that the India's uh, miss, um, the Maldives basically lies in a in a uh, in a ocean regions okay so the nautical miles is that is 300 nautical miles from the india so the main basic strategy over this importance okay and second is the geopolitical that is the geopolitical interest geopolitical interest means securing sea lens of communications if if we if we much focus on maldives if we much focus on Maldives, then, then, then it is a counterpart of the China's terrorism as well. So the first 
geopolitical interest is the securing a sea lens of the communication to maintain the communication within Indian Ocean region. Okay, first and second is the fighting piracy and sea-based terrorism as well. Okay, and third is the making Indian Ocean a conflict-free zone. Okay, to making a free zone free zone and restoring its status of sea of tranquil and excluding the blue navy or blue economy and enhancing the trade okay because we know that the indian ocean region is very important for the trade as well so to maintain the harmony to enhancing the trade to maintain the blue economy so that is the geopolitical interest as well for the interest in maldives okay and third but not the least that is the that is uh, that is the china angle as well that is the china angle china strategic uh, footprint in india's neighborhood has increased as we all know that the chinese uh, chinese uh, the, that is one of the huge infrastructure project that is bri okay so uh, he built a uh, one like a string of pearls okay so basically india's main objective to counter part the chinese influences as well so the chinese strategic footprint in india neighborhood has increased and the maldives has emerged as an important pearl in china the distinguishing of pearls and the construct in south asia as well so to counter this a string of pearls a string of pearls okay so and uh, third internal security angle as well internal security uh, angle means the radicalization it means that in the past the number of maldivish uh, maldive maldivian drawn toward terrorist group like the islamic state had increased okay so most of the maldivian okay most of the maldivian drawn toward the terrorist group like the islamic state has increased and the politically unstable and the socio economic uncertainty and further fueling the rise of islamist radicalization in the indian island or in the in the island na nation okay so basically the third okay so we have that is the fourth is the radicalization 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 means that as as i have told earlier that the most of the maldivian people are most attracted toward the terrorist group like the islamic state but but due to which okay due to the movement of maldivian people toward the terrorist group there is some political instability in the maldivian as well and we know the maldivian lies in the island nation so somehow we can say that there is a in uh, there is a influence or the rise in the islamist radicalization in this island as well so we must have to counter part this radicalization as well so this gives rise to the possibility of the remote maldivian island being used as a launch pad for the terror attack against indias in the indian terrorists as well so the radicalization is also one of the factor that indias interest in maldives okay and what are the challenges okay so last we have discussed that what are the challenges in that relations what are the challenges okay so first challenges that is the india out campaign that is the india out campaign what does it mean india out campaign basically the campaign is backed this campaign is backed by the country's opposition leader that is yamin in in Mo maldives basically it mean aim to fuel more uh, hatred by creating a uh, spectatism for the india's investment in maldives the defense partnership between the two and the india's net security provision as well so basically the opposition leader that uh, that is yamin i mean he don't like uh, the interference of india to maldives so basically he raised a uh, one campaign that is india's out campaign okay so it accuses the government of maldives for allowing indian boots on the ground and thereby compromising the sovereignty of the indian island so basically the yamin sahab think that if india interfere in maldives region so so somehow somehow the maldivian uh, sovereignty is got affected okay so that's why uh, the, the opposition leader yamin sahab uh, has, has told uh, means has run a one campaign that is india out campaign okay 
and second is the radicalization in Maldives. Okay, that is the radicalization in Mo Maldives. Maldives has uh, has has become the country with the highest rate of foreign fighters per capita in the world. Okay, so this has been uh, repealed by 2020 report by the European Foundation for the South Asian Studies as well. Okay, so we have seen that the radicalization is also one of the factors uh, for the India as well. If uh, if India is not uh, much uh, much more focused in Maldives than the problem of radicalization that India must have faced in the future as well. So it is must or necessary to uh, to uh, to focus on Maldives as well to reduce the radicalization in the uh, Indian Ocean regions. And third, but not the least, that is the that is a presence of that is a presence of china okay that is a presence of china as well okay okay so i have done the three topics okay so i hope this uh, will be very helpful for you okay thank you very much